So what does our PPE really protect us from? It does protect us from certain levels of thermal insult. Not all of them. Not direct flame contact and not for very long. Certain chemicals, certain biohazard exposures, but it does not protect us from us, ourselves. There are defined limitations of the gear, when we should retire it, when we should clean it, and we should know how to do all that. We shouldn't be ignorant if we're supposed to be professionals who are going in to save people's lives and property because this stuff allows us to do it better. So when I say fully protected, there's a great study by the Fire Service Cancer Toolkit, or it's not by them, but they have the pictures in there from the IAFF, where they dressed all the firefighters up fully encapsulated, and they sprayed them with a silica dust. It's a fluorescent silica dust. And they just sprayed them all around to show that even when you were buttoned up, zipped up, hood on, mask on, breathing air, that we are still being exposed. Hmm. Didn't think that happened, did we? Why do you think these wipes are so important now? Look at his neck. Look at his ear. Right there where the hood was. Wait a minute. I thought I was protected to a certain extent. And look at this. When I talked about layer by layer contamination, these are photos of fire gear after the fire. You look at the interior side of the garment outer shell, and then you look at the moisture barrier side. When we're getting closer to our skin, what do you see? You see carbonaceous soot permeating through all three layers to our skin. This is from Jeff Ostol from International Personal Protection Company. He did a great presentation on broadening cleaning practices. I'll share the PowerPoint with you. Point being is if all that gets through our gear and then we sweat and they've proven when we sweat, our pores open up and do what? Take our absorption rate up as much as 400%. Skin is the largest organ in your body. We're not breathing it as much as we are absorbing it. And we wonder why we're getting cancer. This is why you inspect your gear. This is why you clean your gear. This is why you look at things a little bit more closely than we used to. What about gloves? This is my good friend, Ryan Pennington's company, Vanguard MK1. I'm a fire deck or Vanguard guy myself, but they're a good glove. Point being, it doesn't matter what glove it is if I don't clean them. And here's something I'm gonna ask you particular interesting question about. We wear our gloves in the fire, right? We wear our gloves in overhaul. And then we wonder why when we wash them, if we don't clean them properly, even when we take our gloves off, have you noticed that your hands were black? Hmm. A recent study showed by the UL that it had a thousand times higher percentages of heavy metals in our gloves. In our gloves. And our hands are just soaking it up. Would you knowingly stick your hand in a five-gallon bucket full of carcinogens every single day? No, but we're doing that, and here's why. This is common sense, we think, right? Wash your hands. Okay, when you get done fighting a fire, do you leave your gloves on when you're loading hose? I've seen firefighters, including myself, grabbing dirty hose, dirty tools. And I was even fussed at by one of my mentors at a training incident several years ago. There was a hose on the ground. It wasn't properly flicked out. What did I do? I reached down and grabbed it, pulled the kinks out of it like I'm supposed to, but I did it with my bare hand. He come up, smacked me on the back and said, people are, are watching you and they're going to emulate your behavior. Put your gloves on. And if you're going to touch gloves and they're not in the actual IDLH, or you're going to touch dirty stuff and you're not in the IDLH environment, you can just wear your EMS gloves when you're cleaning up. Because if you don't, your hands are going to look like this. Here's another question for you. How many of you got families? You come home, and several days later, when you're sitting on the couch, you notice that you smell like smoke. Why is that? Because now your skin that has absorbed all that is now starting to release some of that stuff, and you're smelling it because your skin's the largest organ in your body. And if your gloves allows it to permeate through and it's got all those heavy metals in it, and that's going straight into you, it's not good. So all I'm asking, I'm challenging you on certain behaviors. Wear your gloves when you're fighting fire. When you're done fighting fire and you're cleaning up, wear another type of glove and clean your hands. Clean them good. You know, use fire wipes, use soap and water, and make sure that we're doing that in between incidents as well. If Corona's taught us anything, we got the cleanest hands any nation's had this year. 